you know, we're fishing right now, it's the end of summer and the fish are making a transition. They're getting ready for a fall movement. So they're transitioning from way offshore structure to structure that's offshore, but connected to the mainland. So today I'm gonna focus on all the structural elements that come off the mainland. And we're gonna look for little turns, inside swings, rocks, grass, whatever we can find off of these structural elements that will hold the fish. The bait fish are also moving and they're gonna start staging up on the same areas. That's why the bass are coming in there. There he is. That fish hammered this thing. So I'm right, I am literally right on the first pivot of this structural element, right where it starts to swing out to the main lake. I'm right on the first turn. There's bait fish up here running the edges. And so I'm concentrating on the irregularities in the structure. So this is the first, this is a steep edge that comes in. It's the first major change in this structure. So I'm, I'm varying my retrieve because right now I'm trying to figure out what the best retrieve they want is. So I'm being really erratic with this. And it's good to experiment with that because you can find, you could find out that you might have to snap the rod, you might have to pause, you might have to speed it up. And these are all triggering elements. So it's good to pay attention to that. And I'll do it a lot in the beginning. Once I start to hone in on what the fish want, then I'll, then I'll keep the retrieve the same. And I pay attention to my locator for everything because I want to make sure that I have the boat position exact so when I have to duplicate this somewhere else, I know what depth my front of my boat's got to be in. I know where I have to be casting to. That's the whole, that's the whole key to being successful with the crankbait. There we go. That fish hit it as soon as I got one real turn off of it. You know, in this, these conditions, especially this time of year, I really love throwing that the fat free shad next gens the color is really good for the, for really matching the hatch and in some of this clear water some of the translucent colors are really spectacular right now this this is a green pearl shad right here and i'm alternating between two green pearl shad and electric shad but the green pearl shad really in this clear water reflects light just like the bait fish in here Here's a question I get a lot. People ask me, hey, at the end of summer, how, how are you finding where those fish are at? If they're, if they're in transition and they're moving, how do you find them? So here's the simplest way to do it. I pick a piece of structure that goes way out into the lake. It'll, it'll come off the mainland, dip down, and then come back up outside main lake area so what happens is that little high spot is really not connected it's like a isolated underwater island sort of i'll fish out there first and then i'll gradually fish my way into the structure that comes off of the main lake somewhere between out and in i'm going to run into the fish once i figure out their positioning on the structure i could then apply it to the rest of the lake it's an easier way to try to find them than randomly fish one spot in, fish one spot out. It's better to take one structural element until you figure out where the bass are located, get your bearings, and then translate it on the rest of the lake. 